A princess dart is a combination of two or more darts that meet at the apex point on a body's pattern to create a dart style. However, we have various dart styles that can be applied on a body's pattern, which includes dart connection from waist to the mid arm O, waist to shoulder tip, waist to mid neck, waist to center front neck depth, waist to mid shoulder, waist to side French seam, to mention but few. On the other hand, a princess dart bustier means creating princess dart with fullness around the bust area. So guys, in today's video, I will be taking you through the process of manipulating dart to create different dart styles of your choice, which is mostly called princess dart. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time of watching my video, this is Reggie School of Fashion. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't, so that you won't miss any of my subsequent videos. Without further ado, let's get started. In drafting a princess dart bustier pattern, I will be needing a basic bodice block, which I have here with me. So I will be transferring this basic bodice block on a fresh pattern paper. In case you don't know how to draft a basic bodice block, or you are not sure of maybe you are doing it in the right way, I have a well detailed tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice block. It is a master class I sold on my website some time ago, but I decided to give it out to you, my subscribers and lovers, so that you will catch up with me anytime I have a content related to a basic bodice block. The video is in three parts, part one, two, and three. So the links to the video will be available in the description box under this video. When it comes to manipulating that, the first thing you need to learn is how to draft your basic bodice block because this is the foundation that will, that will determine the result of your bust here, whether it's going to come out well or not. So it is necessary you draft your basic bodice block correctly. I will be transferring my basic bodice block on a fresh pattern paper. I've transferred my basic bodice block on the fresh pattern paper as you can see. So this is my basic bodice block and I transferred it on this fresh pattern paper. So this is the neckline, this is the arm O, this is the chest level, the bust level, the empire level. Empire level is the same thing as the under the bust and this is the waist level. The only thing I did not do is transferring the dust. So I did not transfer the basic that I have on my basic bodice block on the fresh pattern paper because I will be plotting a fresh dart. But on the waistline, I already added one inch dart allowance on my basic bodice block. So which means on this waistline, I have extra one inch, which I have to put into consideration when plotting my darts. The next step is to go into grading of my basic bodice block to make a princess dart bustier pattern. The word princess dart bustier pattern is a compound name which, which you have to put at the back of your mind. Princess dart bustier pattern. This word princess dart can stand on its, on its own and the word bustier pattern also can stand on its own. This pattern is for bustier and princess that they both share this word back pattern so which means we can reconstruct the sentence by saying princess that pattern or bustier pattern so which means i can decide to make my pattern a princess that pattern or make it a bustier pattern my pattern can be a princess that without being a bustier. 
The word bust here means making the bust area more prostitute and also you will have to the measurement you have on the bust area. So that is why when making this tie, it is necessary to pad the bust area. So the first step is to plot the dart. So from plotting of that, that is where you have to pay a close attention. If you don't get the plotting of your dart correctly, your buster will not come out well. So I will come to the waist level and insert the bust pan measurement. The bust pan measurement is the measurement taken from one nipple to another. In case you don't know how to take body measurements accurately, I have a well detailed video on how to take measurements for female figure. Every part of the body you need to measure when drafting your pattern based on the style you are making. So in this video you get to know the reason why you have to use your bust pad measurement, how to take the measurement accurately and also if you want to use a standard measurement how you can arrive at standard measurement for your bust pad measurement. The link to the video will be available in the description box as well. So I'll be inserting half of the bust pad measurement. The bust pad measurement I'm using is 7 inches. Half of that is 3.5 inches. So from this point, I will measure my dart intake. And because this is a princess dart bust here, I will be taking more than one inch for my dart. So I will be using two inches on the waistline for my dart. This is my bust pan point. From this point, I measured my dart intake forward, which is two inches. Then I'll get the midpoint. So that is the midpoint of two inches. Then I'll come to the bust level and insert the same bust pan measurement, which is 3.5 inches. Then I'll be connecting the 3.5 inches point I have on the bust level together with the middle of the dart. That is the midpoint. So this is not a complete straight line, it is a slant line. So in case you are wondering why this line is not on a straight line, I have a well detailed course on pattern drafting which explains why you have to plot your darts like so. It is a premium course I sold on my website as I said earlier, but I decided to give this out to you my lovers and subscribers so that you don't get stuck at, at any point of my tutorials. In this video, you will get to know how to plot your dart correctly, which is very important. These videos are on a playlist as a pattern drafting course. Once you open the playlist, you will see all the videos there together. The sleeve, the bodies, the skirts, measurements, the essential pattern drafting needed, how to use your tools and every other things you need to know about pattern drafting. So the link to the playlist will be available under this video in the description box. After drawing my dart line, the next step is to come down by one inch from the bust pan point. The measurement taken from the center front, don't forget this is my center front. From this point, my bust pan measurement point on the bust level is called the apex. So this point is the apex. So from the apex point, I came down by one inch and I will be connecting this point to these two points I have on the waistline. Okay, the method I'll be using in drafting my princess that buster might be a little bit different from the ones you have seen. This is because this is a full pattern drafting class. It is not a free hand. It is not applying free hand on paper. It is the method of pattern drafting, which is the world standard method in clothing construction. So for this reason, you might be seeing like there are some things that are different from the ones you have seen earlier before now. So just have it at the back of your mind that this is going to be the most easiest and the interesting video you have ever seen. So after this point, the next step is to decide where I want my princess dart to fall. When we are talking about princess dart, I want to say there's nothing like princess dart. What we have is dart styles. Dart styles. So what we want to do here is to create a style from our dart with the help of dart manipulation. So with the help of dart manipulation, you can create any dart style of your choice. 
which what we call the arm openings, what we call the arm openings is that is one out of different dart styles you can create. But every dart style meet on the apex. So which I'll be showing you two or three out of different dart styles that we have. I can have the connection of my darts from the tip of the shoulder. So this is a shoulder tip. Straight down to the apex. If I have a connection like this and just cut this this out and I have this pattern as a single pattern, this side also as a single pattern, join the two together, I have created a dart style. So this is one dart style. I can decide to come down to this point. This point is called the center front neck depth. So this is my neck depth measurement at the center front. I'm taking this also to the apex. The apex is like the mother of all that. The apex accommodates all that style. Wherever you are connecting your dart from, wherever your dart is coming from, it stops on the apex, from the waist to the apex, from the shoulder tip to the apex, from the center front neck depth to the apex, from the French seam to the apex. The French seam is two to three inches below the armhole point. This is the armhole point. So everything you have from two to three inches downward can be your French seam coming to the apex. My dart style can, can come from this point. So that is the waist point by the side, taking it to the apex. I'm just trying to explain this so that you will get to understand what princess that. I'm calling it princess that because I know that is what most people are familiar with. So from this point to the apex is also a dart style. And you can as well have it from the center front waist level. Can you see what I'm trying to achieve? That style. So that style is connecting one dart to another. If I want to connect the dart I have on the shoulder tip to the one I have on the waist level, you can see the type of style I will be having for my dart. I will be having this part separate, I will be having this part separate i can also pick it from the mid neck this is the neckline i will get the mid middle of the neckline then from the mid neck i will connect it to the apex so there's no difference from all this that with the normal waist that we are familiar with the connection is also from the waist to the apex from the waist to the apex for wherever you are picking your dart from from that point it can also come from the middle arm o the mid arm o from mid arm o to the apex so with this you'll be able to be creative on your own so the most popular of these that are the arm o the one we call the arm o princess that the mid shoulder princess that and the neck uh, the neck princess that but we have more than that we have different dance styles which you can also create your own dance style as well so I'll be erasing all these lines so that you don't get confused while we move straight to why we are here. So that is the Bostia Princess Tart. Now I'm moving straight to the point why we are here, which is the Princess Dart Bostia. As I said earlier, we have two compound words together, which is the Princess Dart and the Bostia Dart. So we'll be working on the Princess Dart first before going to the Bostia pattern part. So what I'll be doing next is to extend my dart to the apex. So this is the apex point I marked out earlier. So I'll be extending my waist dart to the apex. Exactly on the apex. So I'm not using the one I brought down by one inch. So I'm connecting the dart straight to the apex point. So the next step is to create the princess dart, which can be any dart style I've showed you earlier. It can be on the tip of the shoulder, the center neck, the mid neck, the French seam, the mid shoulder, and so on and so forth. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be creating the princess dart on the mid armhole. I will be taking the measurements of the armhole and get the midpoint. I 
I have 8.5 and the middle is 4.25. So please, you don't need to either go down by one inch or come down by one inch. This is pattern drafting. By the time we open this up and spread it on the fresh pattern paper, so the pattern will find space for itself, which will make it balance when constructing the dress. So there's no need of coming down by one inch or going up by one inch. This is pattern drafting. So this is the middle of the armhole and I'll be connecting this point straight to the apex. So don't forget, we are not at the point of Bostia yet, we are still creating the princess that. Okay, now in creating the princess that, I will be cutting out my pattern. I will cut out the waist that, close the waist that and open it on the mid arm O. Here is my pattern after cutting it out, then I will be cutting out the dart intake I have on the waistline. So I will be cutting all through to the apex point. So this is the dart intake. Then I will come to the mid arm hole. I will be opening up this line because I am transferring the dart to the arm hole. Now I'll be opening up this line because I'm transferring this dart to the armhole. If you don't want your princess dart to be on the armhole, if your princess dart is going to be on the mid shoulder, so that is where you'll be opening. So wherever you want the dart tied to fall, that is where you open and transfer the waist dart to. So I'll be opening these not all true to the apex point, but when it is about to get to the apex point, I will stop. Okay. Then I will close the waist points. Once I close the waist dart, the dart will open up on the open line automatically. Okay, so I've secured the waistline. The next step is to transfer this pattern on the fresh pattern paper. As you can see, the opening I have on the arm hole has added to the arm hole measurement. So there's no need of going up or coming down by one inch in any way. So that is why I said pattern drafting does not require that. Once you apply your that, the extra value will be added to the pattern automatically. So now I'm transferring this pattern on the fresh pattern paper. So together with the dart I have on the arm hole. So this is the arm hole now. Okay. Then I'll dot the apex points. So this is the apex. I have it here. Then I will transfer my lines on the fresh pattern paper. So the part that is most needed is the lines that falls on the side of the pattern. So that is the most important lines I needed. So I have my dart on the arm hole now. I close the dart on the waist level and I transferred it to the arm hole. So what I just did now is called dart 
manipulation. I also have another video that has to do with that manipulation where you will learn how to cut your dart, transfer your dart from one point to another, the purpose of that manipulation and what you can achieve with that manipulation. The link to the video is available in the description box under this video. So the next step is to reconstruct the waistline. Because of the opening I did on the waistline, the waistline has broken which I have to refix. So I will be using the longest line I have, the longest point I have on the waistline to reconstruct the waistline. My waistline is on a straight line, so that is why I'm using a straight ruler. And I will position my ruler in such a way I have a perfect straight line. Okay, this is the new waistline. So after this point, the next step is to create the bust here. In making a bust here, all I need to do is to pick that on the empire level. The empire level is the same thing as the under the bust level, as I said earlier. So once you pick your dart on the empire level, it will help the bust area to come out and prostitute. It will be obvious you have a dart on that dress. So that is why it is called a bustier so the difference between princess that and bustier is when creating a princess that you don't need to insert that on your empire level but when you want to make it a bustier you pick that on the empire level and the value of that i will be picking on the empire level will be a little bit more than the value i picked on the waistline on the waistline i picked two inches that so on the empire level i will be picking 2.5 inches you can make it three inches if you don't mind but the more value you pick the more the bust area is produced so at this point i can remove my pattern and continue in making my bust here okay so this is what i have so this is the apex and this is the waist point So this is the bust pan measurement. So this is the point I cut out the dart. So this is the line I have here. The dart I transferred from the waist. This is it on the ham hole. So this is the apex. So this is the side of my pattern. And I've transferred the empire levels line. So this is the line. So the line is no more on a straight line. So this is the empire level. So this is the bust level. So whether you have your line straight or not straight on your pattern has nothing to do with the outcome or the result of your dress. So this is the empire level. So this is what will determine my pattern either to be a normal princess dart or bust here. And this is the dart line. So from the dart line on the empire level, I will be inserting my dart intake, as I said earlier, this will be half of an inch more than the dart I took on the waistline. So which means my dart intake on the empire level will be 2.5 inches. So that is one and quarter on both sides. One inch and one quarter on this side and one inch and one quarter on the other side. I can easily locate one inch and one quarter on my measuring tape because I know how to read my measuring tape. So when you are making use of pattern drafting, it is necessary you learn how to read your measuring tape for pattern drafting. I have a video on how to read your measuring tape, the small lines you have on your measuring tape, how to read them, how to convert fraction values to decimal, decimal to fraction. When you get your values on your calculator, how do you locate them on your measuring tape? Everything is well explained in this video. The link to the video will be available in the description box as well under this video so this is the one inch and quarter point and the other side one inch and quarter all together i have 2.5 so this is the point one inch and quarter and i will be connecting this point to the waist
So I'm taking this to the waist. Also, I'll be connecting to the apex point. But on the apex point, I will come down by one inch. I'll come down by one inch and I will not make my dart line to be a complete straight line. It's going to be a little bit curvy. Like so. So this method of princess dart buster is going to give you a perfect outfit after construction. No shortage of measurements, no excess of measurements. Okay, so the next step is to get the middle of the dart I have on the arm hole. So which I'll be folding my dart like so. So with this I'll be able to get the center of my dart which is called the dart leg. So I folded my dart in such a way the arm hole lines meet. And I'll be holding the tip of my dart on the apex with my index finger. So with this, I'll get the middle of my dart. Okay, I'll open it up, can you see? The fold I have is the middle of my dart. So I'll draw a straight line at the middle of the dart forward. Then on that line, I'll come up by one inch. So from the apex points, I will come up by one inch. Then I'll be connecting these two points together to create a curve around the bust area. So this is what we had to the bust measurements. So the two points I have here is my guide on how to construct the curve and how much the curve will be. So I, just, I will just make sure the two points connect perfectly. So with this, I can construct my curve. Okay. So this is my dart, as you can see what I have here. Can you see the shape has already come out? By the time I cut this out, I have what we call princess dart. So this line is no more in use. These straight lines, they are no more in use. So the next step is to reconstruct the side of my dart. If you notice from the beginning of this pattern, I've not added any dart allowance. So it is necessary for me to add my dart allowance. So on my basic bodice block, I added one inch as a basic dart. So, and the dart intake I took on the waistline was two inches. I will be returning extra one inch back to the waistline. And on the empire level, I added 2.5 inches. So that is for the side. And I will be connecting the side of my pattern with my very firm curve, not with a straight ruler. So I'm connecting these two points together. Like so, then I'll be connecting this point to the armhole. Okay. So this side, I'll blend it up with my curve ruler. So that I have a smooth lines. Okay. So guys, the pattern is ready. So can you see what I have? So this is no more the side of my pattern. This is the new side of my pattern. This is the waistline. So this is the empire level. This is the arm hole. This is the dart I have on the arm hole, which I'll be cutting out when I'm ready to cut out my pattern. So this is the shoulder line, this is the neck line. 
So this is the final pattern for my bustier princess dart or princess dart bustier. The both mean the same. So the dart style I created on my pattern is called connection from waist to mid arm o waist to mid arm or if you want to create a dust tie from waist to the mid shoulder the same process all you need to do is instead of opening up your pattern on the mid arm o you will open it up on the mid shoulder so the that you have on the waistline will be closed and you open it up on the mid shoulder so once you open up the line you have on the mid shoulder cut out the dart on the waistline automatically the dart will move from the waist and open up on the mid on the mid arm o or any point you want to create your dart style once again, I want to recommend my video on that manipulation. The title is How to Make a Dress with That Manipulation. In this video, you get to understand what that manipulation is all about, the purpose of that manipulation, how to fold your pattern, how to get the apex, how to plot your dart, and every other thing. If there's any point in this video you get confused, this video will explain and answer all the questions because it is a well-detailed video that focused on that manipulation. So what we have on this pattern is also a dart manipulation. We are manipulating that to make a princess dart bust here. So the pattern is ready and I will cut it out. So after the neckline, I will cut on the shoulder line. So part of the arm oh before i cut this out i'll make sure this is on fold so when you fold your dart on the arm oh or any point you open up your darts if you notice a broken point make sure you refix the point so it is a normal thing to have a broken point anytime you transfer that or you open up a dart so if that part is broken make sure you refix the point before you cut out your pattern but as for me there is no broken point the arm o aligns so i'll continue in cutting out the pattern so now i'm cutting on the new side i constructed on the pattern and not on the former one so the side will look funny because of the dart intake we have on the empire level so that doesn't matter you don't need to bother yourself about that so after constructing everything it will come back to the normal shape by the time we cut out this that now i'm on the waistline i'm cutting on the waistline okay now i have my pattern as a whole can you see what i have so the next step is to separate the side from the center so don't forget to reconstruct your darts after coming up by one inch from the apex so if you remember, I came out by one inch from the apex point when I was constructing this curve. So after, con after coming up by one inch, then it is necessary for you to reconstruct the dart from the dart point to the one inch point on both sides. So that is the point I will be cutting the dart out. So that is it that and I will continue so with this method of princess that bust yeah, there is no shortage on the arm or no excess on the arm or everything will be perfect 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 I mean perfect So can you see what I have for the side of the pattern? Okay. So guys, this is our pattern. This is a princess that's bustier pattern.
So this is the side, this is the center front, and this is the side of the pattern. Can you see? After cutting this, this is going to be a folded side. We have this in two sides, and you have this as two pieces. So this is what I have after cutting. You can as well confirm your measurements before cutting this on your fabric. So take the measurement you have on the waistline. So this is 3.5. And this is 4.25. So you must have up to the quarter of your waist measurement. So the same thing on the empire level, you confirm the measurement. So if the measurement is not correct, that means something is wrong somewhere when you are drafting the pattern. So which you have to figure out before going ahead to cut out your pattern. And also, when you are cutting this out on fabric, don't forget to add your seam allowances. I did not add seam allowance because it is a pattern drafting. All seam allowances are meant to be on the fabric. So on the shoulder line, on the arm hole, by the side, you need seam allowances. Also, on the dart area, you need seam allowance to join these two together after cutting. So on this side, you will add your seam allowance from this tip down to the waist point. So from this point also downward to the waistline, you will also need the same allowance of half of an inch to join the two together. So guys, that will be all on how to draft a princess that bustier pattern. If you find this video helpful in one way or the other, kindly give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you won't miss out anytime I upload a new video. Till we meet again in my next video, Always do remember, there is no elevator to success, you have to take the stairs.